Hey y'all, it's your boy Darka Honey's Duh, and I'm coming at y'all with another Nelly tutorial. <laughs> Welcome to my Chanel, honey. How you doing? Yes, I know you see the material, and this is what we're doing today, y'all. We're gonna have a little talky talk and whatever, you know. <laughs> You know, and whatever. But anything, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe for a baddie, yaddy, yaddy, and share. Because sharing is the only caring that we care in this household. You know, other than that, hey, let's let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get started, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Hey, y'all. What is goody? And... I don't I don't know what to say. <laughs> but yeah, this is the set we're doing. We're doing kind of like um we're trying ombres. Um just showing y'all some tools, ombre tools, brushes and sponges and stuff. And I'm just gonna just do a little a little ombre set. It is a little a little botchy, but it's cute. And you know, add some stone because we like to shine in this household, okay, baby. But uh, it came out cute though. If anything, I did two. Y'all know how I do things. I left three to do on camera. So for the first part of this is will be the colors. I'm using two. If you want to use one, you can do that. So I'm going to be using the Mode Lines Gel Art Liners. And I have one in purple and I have one in pink. The whole reason why I'm... Th this is also the set that I told you guys in the previous video that I was really excited to do. Because I just kind of always wanted to do this. And plus, now I have a reason to do it. Because this these two colors is what color my hair is. So it's like my hair is this ombre color. So I wanted to do nails. Because, you know, <laughs> it's all about matching, right? But, yeah, we're going to do those two things. But I want to kind of talk about um, just ombres. So generally, I like to do ombres within the nail itself. So I have to do it with either gel like the poly gel or with acrylic because it's a lot easier than this. I mean, you can still get something decent. You just have to kind of work for it. So I like to use kind of like a fan brush like this. Use a nice fan brush. I always like to have like a little paper towel on the side just to kind of wipe off any access or clean up, however, whatever. Diddy da, diddy da. But I always like to use a fan brush like this. But just to kind of also show you the other options we got. So I'm also using this blending brush here. This is a tapered angled blending brush for nails. So you just kind of pat it and it kind of blends itself out like you see right here. Then also got this beautiful blending brush as well. And it's just beautiful, just beautiful. Has a little lid and this is what it looks like. So this is like the, uh, basic blending brush usually when you're doing ombres usually it's going to be cut out bristles and stuff like that so that it blends it out better i like using this brush when i'm doing sideways blends because it looks better because it's kind of hard to blend it that way with this brush because of just the size of it especially if you're doing so since i'm doing two colors i wanted to use a bigger brush so i use this one so that i'm not mixing the colors together because that's not just to defeat the whole purpose of the design. But this is another little brush you can use to kind of blend. And then we also, this is part of a set. We also have this beautiful tool here. It was a double end, but I took the other end off. But this is kind of like a sponge blender where it has the sponge where you can kind of just blend it with that as well. So that's also an option as well. This is a double head these actually do come off so if you do use them and they get past repair you can literally just take them off and replace them you can buy the replacements off of amazon but other than that yeah that's just the blending tools that i have that i kind of use depending on what type of nail i don't really do too much blending with nail polishes to be honest because this they it's a bitch but yeah <laughs> anyway let's go ahead and move on so what I like to do is first I'm going to take the purple and I'm going to take that beautiful purple and I'm going to put half, put it halfway on the nails. 
You don't want to bring it down too far. Maybe like to this part here because you're going to end up blending this all up. So it'll make sense. Do that. And then now I'm going to go ahead and add the pink. And when you're doing this, um, as far as if you are using the same nail liner as me, you can just use regular gel polishes. I'm using these nail liners because they're a lot more opaque and they have a lot more pigment. So it doesn't matter how much I blend them out. They're not going to blend out into for, for nothing, okay? Because some polishes, you know, if you use a regular polish, then I'll have to blend this out and then put another coat. And I don't want to do all that. It's too much work. But yeah, so now you can kind of see how I blend. So you got the the purple on this side, pink on this side. So I just kind of go down the middle like this and then bam. And you just kind of kind of do that right there. Wipe off any excess. Just kind of kind of blend it out. And it's going to kind of drag and also give that access. If you want to, you can use the size to kind of blend a little more to blend certain size so you're not going crazy because you can't get too carried away with this. And bam, that's as good as I'm going to go for that. So now I'm going to use this brush. And with this brush, I'm going to just kind of just tap. Tap over the edge. And that's going to kind of help blend. It's just a light tap. And then kind of just wipe it off. And then tap above that so that it all blends together. And bam, that's a quick ombre. The one thing I do want to say I don't like about this brush is you see how the brush was long and now it's short. I guess this part is loose, so the brush kind of slides back in. I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds while I'm talking. But the brush kind of slides back in to itself, so that's kind of irritating. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it back up. So yeah, if you do buy a brush like this, make sure you buy a good one. These are some cheap little brushes, so I didn't really expect too much. But that's pretty much how you do the ombre. It's really quick and easy. It's, it, it's, it's just that, you know, it doesn't give you too much. Right, you're not stressing. It's just that and that. But also while we wait and drink of the video, I'm drinking on some, some cab, because that's the vibe. Mm -hmm. Sunday kind of love. Yes, darling. But yeah, that's the, I, I love that. But yeah, if anything, I don't really use too much of the other tools. I don't really do, like I said, I don't do ombres too much with polish. I usually do them with the acrylic only. But you know, hey, just wanted to show you I can do it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the other nails on camera with you. So... We're going to go ahead and do the purple, do the purple here, and then the pink on the other side. Other than that, I, did you guys enjoy like my um nails that I, my New Orleans nails that I did? They came out so cute, like so freaking cute, like ridiculously cute, like I can't believe I did that cute. They came out so good. And also, if you guys haven't already, just check out my New Orleans vlog as well. So every year, I always go to New York Orleans with my God family. And it's always a fun time. So I always do a vlog. This is the third year of me doing a vlog and the first year of me doing a nail, um, showing you the nails that I did for that vlog. So, yeah, baby, we, we're doing things out here. We are doing things out here. But yeah, you guys check that out. Other than that, I mean, I do have some other contents and a lot more reviews coming up, to be honest. I also have another trip that I'm thinking about doing the vlog for. So, so we went to Gaveston last year and I did a vlog, vlog for that. If you want to check out all the vlogs I've done, just check out my my vlogs. I think it's called literally my vlogs um, playlist. 
And they got all the vlogs in there. And y'all guys can check that out. Especially if you're really interested in seeing how it is in New Orleans. Right. Because the thing, the good thing about me going with my God family is that, you know, they know the city and the state. So because they know the city and the states and they have family and all that, you know, titles there and whatever, you know, they, they know all the places to go. So that's on period. Periosa. And also just to kind of let it know as well, if you do want it to be more pigment in color, you can go over with a second coat and blend it out. I just, I didn't want to do that because I wanted to, to kind of give like more of a, almost a Van Gogh look, but not a Van Gogh look. Right. I wanted to kind of have, I wanted to look streaky in a way. Because I feel like that gives it character and makes it kind of look like painted or airbrushed or something like that. So that's why I don't want to do the second coat. Plus, this is a really good polish. So, but yeah, you guys check out my vlogs and whatever. I plan on doing them every year, but I'm trying to see if I want to do one for Texas. This Texas trip we got because, you know, my godson's going on spring break. So, you know, he's never been to a beach. So why not? And I'm also going to be bringing my my mother with me as well. So I'm going to go ahead and cure those. we am bringing my mother with me as well. You know, so it could be like a little family vacation, whatever. So, yeah, that's a vibe. And that's going to be the day my St. Patty's set. I'm going to be doing like a... A St. Patrick's green set, so be looking out for that. That's also going to be a review as well. And before that video, I'm going to be creating a backup set. If you follow this channel, you know when I travel, I I always have a backup set because just in case the nail break off or whatever, because I do my own nails, I know how to take the nails off. And because I know how to take the nails off, that means I can put on the backup nails because ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. So, yeah, that's what I like to do because it's just simple and easy, easy peasy, beautiful color boy. Okay, period. Mm. And it's wine good. So now we've gone ahead and done that. If you want to go in with a second coat to make it more vibrant, you can do that. I'm not going to do that because that's just my tea and I'm sipping it. So now I'm going to use this Beatles Gel Polish Top Coat. This is a matte top gel. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. I feel like this design looks better with a matte over it. I've been doing a lot of, I'm not going to lie, a lot of matte nails lately and I'm not mad at it. I feel like when you got a really good matte coat, matte top coat, you can do that. Cause you can get there are some out there that are just absolutely terrible. But hey, people out here just trying to make money. But yeah, I like this matte top coat because it cures very fast. Well, it, it cures matte, but also it doesn't make the nails look crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. And while I'm curing that, I'm going to also go ahead and start setting up for the rind. Because the next part is the rhinestones. So I'm just going to start grabbing that stuff and bringing it over. You know, if you like me, I also like to kind of clean up stuff as I go. Yeah, this brush, I don't like this brush that much. It keeps sliding down. That is so ghetto. That is so ghetto. Oh, yeah. While I'm drying, I also like to kind of work on stuff like cleaning brushes and stuff like that. So take a little acetone and put it in a damping dish like this. And then I'll just kind of take this brush and... Got a paper towel on the side over here and just kind of wipe it off till it's clean. That brush keeps going down. I think I'm going to throw this brush away. So that's done. Bam. Matte. Matte. Put that to the side for right now. And bam. Brush is going to be brand new, bitch. 
Yeah. I always like to, I try to clean as I go when I can, you know. A clean nail tech is a good nail tech, okay? I'm just going to let that dry to the side. And bam. And if you do get a brush like this, just make sure you get a good one. As you can see, this one, I, I think, yeah, this part's way too way too loose because it keeps sliding down. I don't like that. Um, so I might bend it in. I might bend around it just to see if that helps. If that don't help, then, hey, I tried. <laughs> I tried. That's all that matters, okay? That's all that matters. But now we're going to move on to the other part. Let me throw this away. Period. All right. So did that. So now we're going to get into the rhinestones. I like to use these rhinestones. I feel like rhinestones are very easy to find. You just get them off of Amazon. They're really fairly cheap, depending on how the quantity of them. Most of the time, rhinestones do come in sets, so it's not going to just be this one. It's going to be like three of them with different designs and colors and stuff like that. So, yeah, just to give that FYI. But these are the ones I'm using. These are kind of the iridescent rhinestones. And it goes from large all the way to a small. So I wanted to just keep this around the cubicle area. Let me let me clean this up real quick because this, this little part right here is gonna drive me crazy. Kind of snippity snip snip. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Right. Bam. So I'm just going to take, so what I did is I took four, well, five. So I took one big one. So I'll get one of these big ones. So with this rhinestones as well, so you get four big ones, four medium ones, and then four small ones. So that's just how that's set up. So it's the big ones, it's the medium ones, and these are the small ones. So because I'm doing three nails, I just like to kind of pick them all out and get them as I can. You can use this like a little wax stick. What I like to do is I like to first pick them out using a, um, what's this damn thing called? Um, oh my God, I forgot the name of it. Um, tweezers, there we go. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I forgot the name. So I like to pick up the tweezers and then I kind of like just put them in the order that they're going to go. Because I feel like when you set yourself up for success, nothing can go wrong. You know, famous last words. But hey, that's how I did the other hand. Period. Period. <laughs> Not me sound like young Miami. Young Miami. So we're going to do two of the medium ones on each side. And then two of the smaller ones on the outside and that's going to give you kind of like some it's going to give a shape a nice little shape and it's going to kind of taper itself off in a way because it's going to go from big to um small pretty much you know i mean if you want to use all big ones you can do you can use whatever size you want okay it's it's your boat it's your boat, okay? It is your yacht. You know, I'm just trying to teach you how to drive it, okay? Period. So, one of my favorite, favorite, favorites. Why is this not closing? Close it. There we go. One of my favorite rhinestone glues right now is this one. This is the McCart rhinestone glue. This is um, 0.27 ounces, but it does go a long way. This does come with a set of two, so I do have a backup one. I love this one because the top part, it does kind of have like a pin so that you can just kind of like place it where you want to, as many dots as you want. And it does have another part. Look, So the bottom part, put this on first. Hello. There we go. So the bottom part, if I can get it off, is actually a screw which it has 
a little brush for when you're doing larger work, you know? So I love this. This is why I bought it. I did a review on this not too long ago. I don't remember which video it was, but I did a review on it. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of put the, put it where, where the stones are going to go. And while I'm doing that, I want to also kind of talk about this product. So when I did my review on this product, I don't even think I did a review on this. I don't know. I did use this for my sister's nails. And for this one, I did notice it does take a long time for it to dry. Let me bring this over. It does take a long time for it to dry. But then I also learned today when I was putting the stones on is that the crazy like, oh my God, like I didn't even know it, but this rhinestone glue, it does air dry. It just takes a long time to air dry. So you, you got time on your hand, you can do that. It's just gonna take a while for it to set. Which it is kind of good that it takes a long time. So that means you can, you don't have to rush to get the placement of the stones. I'm just putting them on there fast because I mean, I'm a seasoned professional or whatever. But one thing I love about this is that you can either let it dry on its own. And it does dry pretty slow. It takes a minute for it to dry. But also I've learned today, I was today years old when I learned this, is that this is also... LED and UV cured as well. So you can actually cure this and if you want it to be instant. And they'll cure just like a regular regular gel. So I think that was pretty neat when I did it. I think that was pretty neat. I was like, oh, that's crazy. I would have never knew that it, you know, did that. Something said, hey, you know, this is going to take forever because I was just walking around drinking wine like, okay. I kind of want to get this over with so I can go shower and get my my cute ass in the bed for work tomorrow. So I'm like, what if I try curing it? And it worked. It freaking worked. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's dope. So with this one, I feel like this is a really good one. A really good one. I feel like my cart does have some really good brands and whatever. So yeah, this is this this is my favorite rhinestone glue. Cause some glues they dry down really fast. And the ones that dry down fast, you have to like really know what you're doing. Like you you have to know the placement. Because as soon as you put that bad boy down, it's that's it. <laughs> that's it, folks. That's all folks. It's not moving. It's not going nowhere else. It ain't clocked in, and that is where it stands. Okay? Period. But this one, it gives you a little play time. Just in case, you know, hey, I didn't, yeah, I'm like, oh, Lord, I put the pen. I put this pen, or, you know, hell, Jesus, I put the jewel where I didn't want it, or if I want to move it over a couple of inches, then you can do that. Because this one, this gives you time. And I love that. So once you kind of place them where you want to and you got them spaced out, that's another reason why I love that too because I get to control it. This gives you more control to make sure ain't nothing crazy. So now that I kind of got them placed what I want, then yeah, you just cure them for just 60 seconds pretty much. And then, bam, that's pretty much the set. So I'm going to go ahead and finish curing these. And then we're going to go ahead and get to the end of the video. If anything, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by and chatting with your boy. And also, you know, hey, watching me do some nails. If anything, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe for a baddie, yaddy, yaddy, and share. Because sharing is caring. Y'all know that's the only type of caring we like in this household, honey. Okay, honey. Okay. Other than that, yeah. This has been a really pretty set. And guess what? I'm tired and I'm ready to go lay it down. <laughs> lay it down. Well, actually, I can't because I got some stuff that I got to do. <laughs>
Anyway, peace.